today. So, ayun na nga mga labs. Proceed tayo sa ating next na lesson. So, kahapon, magkaroon na tayo ng konting recap sa lesson kahapon. So, ang lesson natin is about the quadratic equation. In-illustrate natin at dinefine natin ng iba't ibang terminologies kay quadratic equation. So, ngayon class, ang i-discuss natin ay solving quadratic equation by extracting the square root. Actually, meron tayong iba't ibang way on how to solve quadratic equation. Pero dito muna tayo magpo-focus kay extracting the square root. So, again, itong ating video lesson na to ay naka-align sa ating STEM number 2 for week 1. So, I hope masundan ninyo at maintindihan ninyo para mas, may, mag, mas madali ninyo masagutan mag-isa ang inyong activity. So, ano nga ba ang extracting the square root? Quadratic equation can be written in the form x squared is equal to k can be solved by a by applying the following properties. So, x squared is equal to k. Ito ay isang halimbawa ng quadratic equation. Kaya nga lang, ang present lang dito sa equation, sa equation na to ay si quadratic term at si constant term. Okay? Kung mapapansin nyo yung ating constant term ay nasa right side ng ating equation. Okay? So, ano-ano yung properties na pwede nating uh, tandaan in solving quadratic equation na ganito ang form. Una, if k is greater than 0, then x squared is equal to k has two real solutions or roots. Therefore, we have x is equal to positive negative square root of k. So, simple lang to. Pag ang constant mo ay positive, Ito, pag ang constant mo ay greater than 0, yung greater than 0, ito yung mga positive integers. Ibig sabihin, yung equation mo na to ay may dalawang sagot. Yung value ng x ay may dalawang sagot. Okay? Next natin. If k is equal to 0, then x squared is equal to k has one real solution or root. Therefore, x is equal to 0. O, ito, simple lang. Pag ang constant mo sa equation na x squared is equal to k ay 0, no need nang mag-solve pa kasi automatic ang sagot mo, ang value ng x mo, or ang solution natin ay 0. Okay, next. If k is less than 0, then x squared is equal to k has no real solutions or roots. Ah, ito, yung greater than 0 natin, yun yung mga positive integers natin. Ngayon, pag ang value ng k, ito, ay less than 0, mababa kay 0, ito yung mga negative integers natin. Okay? Ibig sabihin, pag negative yan, stop ka na sa pagsagot mo kasi wala tayong roots na makukuha. Okay? Bakit po? Magiging imaginary ang value ng x natin or ng variable mo sa given equation. Yun lang yung tatandaan natin. Okay, so mag magbigay naman tayo ngayon ng mga halimbawa kung paano natin iisusun ang isang given quadratic equation in the form x squared is equal to k by extracting the square meron tayong x squared minus 25 is equal to 0. Find the solution or root. So, ayan. So, paano natin ito gagawin? Una, we need to use addition property of equality para yung ating minus 25 dito or negative 25 dito, ito po, itong negative 25 dito ay malipat natin sa right side ng equation. Okay? Although, pwede naman natin itong i-transpose na agad sa right side, kaya lang with respect sa ating mga properties sa math, kailangan natin gamitin si addition property of equality na kung saan mag add tayo ng 25 on both sides of the equation. Ayan. Mag-add tayo ng 25 both sides of the equation para po 
Ma-cancel natin dito si 25. Kasi negative 25 plus 25 is is not equal to 0. So, magiging x squared is equal to 25 na lang siya. So, ang target kasi unit natin dito ay ma-isolate yung may variable x sa isang side ng equation. Okay? Next. Sunod na gagawin natin is gamitin natin si, si square root property. Okay? Itong square root property na to, since yung ating given ay x squared is equal to 25 at kailangan ma-isolate ang variable x, dapat variable x lang ang nasa isang side ng equation. Kaya eh, naka-square to. So, you need to find way or to apply the square root property para ma-cancel or matanggal yung square ng ating x squared. So, yung square root property, i-square mo lang both sides of the equation. So, we have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of 25. So, itong, top, itong lesson na to, uh, na-discuss na to sa inyo nung first quarter pa lamang, nung sa law of radicands natin. Okay. Next natin, you need to extract the square root of both sides of your equation. Ito, i-extract nyo yung square root niya. Okay? So, square root of x squared is x na lang. Okay? Is equal to, ang square root ng 25, magkakaroon ng dalawang value, isang positive, isang negative. Therefore, ang sagot natin, x is equal to positive and negative 5. So, ito po yung sinasabi natin sa first property kanina, na kapag ang k, ang constant mo ay positive. So, ito, ang constant natin dito ay positive, 25. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong dalawang sagot. So, dahil positive 25 yan, ang sagot natin ay dalawa. Isang positive 5, okay, at isang negative 5, okay? So, therefore, ayan ang sagot natin. There are two roots, positive 5 and negative 5. Dalawa yung sagot natin. So, pwede natin itong i-check i -check using the original equation. You can be able to get correct answer. Okay? So, next. Let's have another example. 2x squared is equal to 72. Find the solution or the roots. So, dito iba naman yung case niya. Kung mapapansin natin, ang ating quadratic term, ang leading coefficient natin ay 2. Okay? So, para mas mabilis natin siyang masagutan, pwede natin i-divide both sides of the equation by 2. Since ang 72 divisible naman yun kay 2, pwede i-divide by 2. I-divide natin siya para mas lumiit yung ating constant, mas lumiit yung numbers natin sa given equation. So, mag divide ka dito depende kung ano ang numerical coefficient ng leading term mo. So, ang ating leading term ay 2x squared at ang numerical coefficient niya ay 2. So, therefore, i-divide mo siya both side by 2. Okay? So, 2x squared divided by 2 is equal to 72 divided by 2. Therefore, we have x squared nakakancel na to. Nakakancel yung 2. Okay? And then, x squared na lang siya. 72 divided by 2 ay 36. Next natin, saka natin niya apply dito kay x squared is equal to 36. Saka natin niya apply ang square root property. So, square, uh, square root property. So, ito ay magiging x is equal to positive negative the square root of 36. Okay? Extract natin yung square root ng 36. So, Again, dito, ang naging sagot natin dito, ang naging constant natin ay positive. So, automatic, may dalawa pa yung sagot. And the square root of 36 is positive and negative 6. So, ang sagot natin, therefore, ay 6. X is positive, equal to positive 6. And X is equal to negative 6. Let's have another example. O, ayun, may nauna na. Okay. So, next example, 3x squared minus 27 is equal to 0. Find solution or roots. So, again, dito, 
apply natin yung addition property of equality. Okay? So, para ma-isolate natin yung may variable sa isang side ng equation, ito. So, since ito ay minus 27, kailangan natin itong matanggal dito, magpa plus 27 tayo on both sides of the equation. And, negative 27 plus positive 27 magiging 0 yan. Therefore, ito ay magiging 3x squared is equal to 27. Ang constant natin ay positive. But then again, ang ating quadratic term, okay, ang ating leading term, ang numerical coefficient niya ay 3 and, and it happens na ito ay pwedeng i-divide si 27 ay pwedeng i-divide by the numerical coefficient 3. So, i-divide natin yan para mas maliit yung number na sa trabawin natin. Divide both sides. Divided by 3 at 3x squared. Divided by 3 is equal to 27 divided by 3. Di-divide lang natin yan. So, Ito, makakancel na yung 3 dito. Ayan, makakancel siya. And then, we have x squared. 27 divided by 3, we have 9. Okay po. Next natin, pagdating dyan, saka natin ina-apply ang square root property. O, pasensya na hindi naka-align ng ating... Ayan. So, hala, yung isang arrow, nauna na siya. Pagdating dito, apply natin square root property. Square root mo ng both side ng equation. And then, therefore, we have x is equal to positive negative the square root of 9. Extract natin yung square root nitong square root of 9. So, ang answer natin is x is equal to positive negative 3. So, dalawa ang sagot natin. Therefore, there are two roots. Una, x is equal to positive 3. Pangalawa, x is equal to negative 3. Okay? So, hanggang, hanggang dito lang yung example na binigay dun sa inyong slam number 2. Pero magbibigay pa din ako ng another example. Ito, different case naman ito. Okay? Ito yung ating property number 2, yung sa una natin kanina. Yung if, x, if k is equal to 0. Okay? So, number 4 example, we have x squared is equal to 0. Find the solution or roots. Pag ganito yung given, then, kahit di ka naman solve, ang sagot mo, x is equal to 0. Isa lang ang sagot natin. At ang sagot natin ay, x is equal to 0. Okay? Kahit di ka naman solve, ilagay mo na lang directly yung sagot mo, automatic na yun. Okay? Another example. Find the roots of the equation, s squared plus 9. Okay? So, solution natin dito, s squared is equal to negative 9. Okay, so paano muna naging ganito, s squared is equal to negative 9? Ito, apply natin si addition property of equality. Since ito ay plus 9, magdadagdag ka lang dito ng kabaliktaran niya, minus 9. Tapos dito, we have minus 9 din. So, makakancel to positive 9 minus 9, ito ay magiging 0. Tapos, kaya magkakaroon tayo ng s squared ayan, is equal, uh, s squared is equal to negative 9. Eh, di ba hindi naman na natin isusulat yung 0? So, makakancel na yan. Kaya, ito po siya. Okay. Ayan siya. Okay po. Paano natin na and then, pagdating dito, saka natin i-apply si square root property. Square root natin both side. Okay? And then, magiging x is equal to positive negative the square root of negative 9. So, kapag ang nasa loob ng ang radical natin ay negative, okay, that is imaginary number. So, ibig sabihin, pag imaginary, wala tayong sagot dito. So, hanggang dito lang yung solution ninyo. End na yan. Okay, mag-end na ng solution mo yan kasi automatic, negative ang nasa loob, wala tayong sagot dito. Okay? So, another example, paano kapag ganito naman yung given? Find the solution of the equation. Quantity x minus 4 squared minus 25 is equal to 0. So, ganyan po siya. Sulat lang natin, nire-write lang to ha, huwag kayong malito. So, gamitin natin dito, addition property of equality. 
Okay? So, ang yung idadagdag natin dito ay si 25. Okay? So, teka lang ha. Okay po. So, x squared minus 25. Sorry, hindi ko lang nailagay. Magpa plus 25 kayo dito. Ayan. Equals. Dito naman ay kasi at um, 0 yan, di ba? So, plus 25 pa lang din. Paki-disregard na lang po itong minus 25 na yan. So, therefore, ito ay magiging negative 25 plus 25. Ito ay 0. Okay? So, ito ang mga mangyayari dito ay, ayan. Basta ganyan po siya, ha? natira dito ay po, 25 na yung natira dito next natin is apply natin square root property ayan po, since etong x minus 4 ay nasa loob naman ng isang parenthesis, ibig sabihin 1 term sila, okay so since 1 term yan at naka square yan, pwede natin silang ilagay sa loob ng radical sign ng hindi magkapot, kasi isang term lang naman sila, dahil nasa loob sila ng parenthesis Okay, so yung kabila, then square root of 25, disregard nyo to ha, wala po yan, tapos ito matatanggal na din yan. Okay, so ang mangyayari ay, magiging x minus 4 is equal to positive negative 25. Kapagdating dyan, extract natin yung square root, so ang magi ito ay magiging, ang square root ng 25 ay positive and negative 5. So ang unang root natin, gamit ang positive 5, dito, isosolve mo lang din siya. Okay, ito yung gagamitin mo. x minus 4 is equal to 5. Ang una natin ginamit, positive 5 ha. x is equal to negative 4, transpose natin sa kabila. Or pwede nyo gamitin addition property of equality. So, x is equal to 5 plus 4 ay 9. Yung next root natin, second root natin, gamit ang negative 5. Ito, dito diba, dalawa yan positive 5 saka negative 5. So, yung next root natin, gamitin natin si negative 5. Gamit pa rin itong x minus 4. So, x minus 4 is equal to negative 5. Um, transpose ang negative 4 sa right side. So, x is equal to negative 5 plus 4. x is negative 1. So, pag chinect natin yan, okay, so, we will arrive at the correct answer. So, ganyan lang po siya. So, I hope na intindihan ninyo. If you have any question, feel free na i-DM po ako para masagot ko ang inyong mga inquiries. So, that's it.